Shalom, shalom, it's your boy Isaiah Israel from the Battle Axis, man. Uh, it's a bit cold out here, and there's some uh, it's a car is working out here. So, um, if you can't hear me, I'm gonna try to be like as projecting and as loud as I can be, man. But uh, first, I want to give all glory and praise to Yahweh Bashim Al Shot, and um, I want to say Kwame Asharallah and Shalom to all the mighty brothers and sisters that's joining the live and that is coming to the live, man. So today we're going to, I'm going to just do a little, this is not going to be long at all. I'm going to just do a little edifying. And this is really like really motivation uh, through the scriptures, man. This is motivation through the scriptures for the men because there's some men in this truth. And I know um, shit get crazy, man. I'm going to just go ahead and say it like that. Like it get crazy out here and especially like as young uh, IQ and waking up like myself, like, you know what I'm saying? As young Akiyun waking up to this truth and, you know, trying to be uh, a mighty man of the Lord, man. And we just got to stay girded up and stay ready and be ready in these last days uh, spiritually, man. Because that's the only way we're going to make it out of this thing. That's the only way we're going to be able to endure towards the end. Right? So, I'm going to go to the book of Matthew. I'm going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24. And I'm going to start at verse 3. Right? Shalom to everybody coming in, man. I'm gonna start at verse three. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give a little bit of the context of basically what's going on. So the, uh, uh, damn, uh, look at damn Esau, man. Anyway, there's gonna be these, um, the disciples are coming to, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Hamashiach, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? And they're going up to him, asking him what are they gonna, what are gonna be the signs of the last days, right? So that's just a little bit of context of what's going on. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how this is happening, how this is literally happening, and referring to these days, and how you can use these scriptures, you know what I'm saying, to keep your head held high in these last days, right? So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and I'm gonna start at verse three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Right? So the Most High, so um, Yahweh Shai is telling the disciples, hey man, in these last days, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, niggas risen up. That's going to try to say, oh yeah, I'm Christ, or I'm the Lord, I'm the Most High, I'm the Hamashiach. You know what I'm saying, coming to deceive, and you can't be deceived in these last days, man. You can't be going for none of that bullshit in these last days, man. So, because di didn't the Lord say it, it'll be uh, uh, many deceivers, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's go to first John chapter four and one. Let's go to first John chapter four verse one, man. Shalom to everybody that's coming in. Shalom to all the sisters, man. But yeah, let's go to first John chapter four and one. Cause you can't be you can't be deceived in these last days, man. That's why you have to you 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 have to stay girded up in these last days, man. You have to be uh eating a roll constantly, you know what I'm saying? Eating the word, eating the bread, drinking the wine, drinking the milk, eating the meat, right? So this is the book of John. Yeah, first John Salakia. Hold on. This new this new uh swore my Abba got me y'all is new, so it's extra crispy, the page still sticking to each other, so Salakia. And it's cold outside. Alright. So this is the book of First John chapter 4 and verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of Yahweh, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Right. So the Most High is talking to his beloved. Then we know that his beloved is Israel. Right. The 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American, and Seminole Indian man, woman, and child. Right. He said, believe not every spirit because many false prophets are going out into the world, man. So he, when, when the Most High said, you got to try the spirit, man, you got to test that person, whoever it may be, man. You might meet, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a new Jake, 
you maybe you you probably yeah, just got this job right and you just now meeting a new jake at work you know what i'm saying and he might see you like a cool dude at first but then you realize as time passed he got certain demons and spirits on him man so you have to try these spirits you can't believe everyone man you 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 cannot believe everyone man let's let's get another precept we're gonna go back to matthew let's go to matthew 7 and 15 man yeah the book of matthew chapter 7 and verse 15 I had I had to write a couple precepts for y'all, man. Uh, the spirit was just on me when I woke up, man. Shalom to everybody coming in. Shalom, shalom. We're going to the book of Matthew, chapter seven and verse fifteen, man. So, like I said, you can't believe every spirit, man. You got to try the spirit, man. All right, because you got to. It's gonna happen in these last days, and y'all, y'all, I know y'all already see like some of the things coming to pass already, cause like it's getting crazy, you know what I'm saying? This election finna go down, and you know, whichever one of them damn devils get elected, it's gonna be a damn race war regardless, right? So like, uh, like I said, uh, you gotta try the spirits, man. I'm back to trying the spirits, and like I said, this is like for the man in this truth, you know what I'm saying? This for the aqua in this truth too, but I'm ma mainly talking to the man right now, like. We got to stay girded up, man. And we can't be, you know, being tossed to and fro. You feel me? With these false prophets, with these false doctors. We got to stay rooted in the word, right? So this is the book of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 15. Beware of false prophets. And this is and this is the Hamashiach speaking. This is Christ speaking. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but in war inwardly they are... Raving wolves, right? So yeah, be not deceived, man. Cause a nigga will come up to you like he all good and he really not. He really got other intentions for you. It could be a Jake, it could be a damn heathen. You know what I'm saying? Moab, Esau. You know what I'm saying? You you y'all niggas be thinking that uh the so called white man is cool sometimes, man. They not, man. And but like I said, you gotta try these spirits, man, in these last days, man. And, and that's a part of staying strong, you know what I'm saying? We, we we can't be deceived, man. We can't be deceived. We can't be tossed to and fro. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 14. Yeah, let's go to Ephesians 4 and 14, man. Because like I, I keep bringing that up, being tossed to and fro. Because we can't be tossed to and fro with, with, with doctrine, with, you know what I'm saying, Israelites, with anyone, man. We got to stay rooted in the lord that's what it's all about at the end of the day that's the main thing that it's about y'all bear with me salaki let me get the book of ephesians real quick dang <laughs> y'all bear with me salak the um like i said this new sword i got the pages stick to each other and I ain't just broke it. I ain't just uh, broke it out yet. All right. So like you. And Shalom. But Shalom to everybody coming in, man. Shalom. Yeah, but man, we can't be tossed to and fro. All right, 9 11. All right, con, all breakers. But yeah, man, like I said, we can't be tossed to and fro in these last days, man. We If, if, if it's been a time to actually stay. You know what I'm saying? Focused in the Lord, which has always been a time. But now is the time for real, y'all. Like, can't no games be played, man. So we're going to go to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 14. All right, Kyan, I'll pray to see you, y'all. Chapter 4 and verse 14. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 14. That we henceforth be no more children. Tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Right? So there'd be niggas out here waiting to deceive your ass, right? Waiting for you. And damn Esau be waiting for to deceive your ass too. Through social media, you know what I'm saying? Through Instagram, do damn TikTok, anything that could get you out. Of the will of doing the will of the Lord, man. Right? See, y'all mighty man got to stay girded up, man. You know? You can't be caught. Don't be caught up in this world. And don't be caught up in the deceivers in it. 
right? That's the last thing we want to happen, man. And the Lord gave us good doctrine, right? That's another thing. Don't be deceived specifically in doctrine. Like some of y'all getting this truth and then be trying to like make up other shit. Or be trying to make up other, or trying to get all deep. Like, man, the scriptures say what they say. All right, just stick to the scriptures. Do the law. Do the law, statutes, and the commandments that the Most High God told us to do. And we'll be all right, man. That's all we have to do. The Most High said in Deuteronomy 28, chapter 1, all the way to 14, that if we do the laws, we'll be blessed. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we just got to keep doing the work, man. And we got to trust in the Lord. We have to trust in the Lord. Let's go to Proverbs 4 and 2. Speaking on doctrine, right? Go to Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 2. Right? All praise to the Most High. Right? Alright. Yeah. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 2. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. <laughs> like the scriptures say what they say, man. And, it, and it's just right there in plain sight. So the most high is saying, don't forsake my law. The, the good doctrine is the law, right? The Holy Bible is the book of the law, right? Only given to us, the Israelites, the 12 tribes, so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, and Seminole Indian men and women and child. Right, so we can't forsake the law, man. This is the good doctrine right here. You don't need to get all deep, man. Now it's okay to go get understanding from elders. You know what I'm saying? From you know what I'm saying? The prophets uh, scattered abroad that's teaching, like uh, WFI. You know what I'm saying? Uh, possibly Scar and priests of Bach. You know what I'm saying? It's good to get understanding, but don't you know what I'm saying? Get scattered abroad if it don't match up with the scriptures, man. If some other person ignorant nigga, ignorant negro saying some things that don't line up with the scriptures, man, then you don't need to be hearing that bull crap. Straight up. Alright? So what I want next? Yeah, man. And on top of that, and just as a whole, y'all, we, we, we have to trust in the Lord, man. We have to trust in the Lord. We have to trust in the Most High. Right? What, what I want? Yeah, let's go to Proverbs 3 and 5. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, man. See? Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. It's cold in the mug out here, man. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. But yeah, like I said, we gotta um we gotta trust trust in the Lord. Most of all, shalom to everybody coming in. Shalom. We gotta trust in the Lord, most of all, man. Right? This is the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. Right? Let me read verse 6. And all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So, man, when you're trusting in the Lord, you're doing these law, statutes, and commandments. You know what I'm saying? He's going to guide you, man. He's going to guide you. Acknowledge him in all, in all ways, everything you do, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, we need to read. You know what I'm saying? Read, study, keep the laws, wear your fringes. You know what I'm saying? Don't eat damn pork. Don't fornicate. You know what I'm saying? Keep the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. You know what I'm saying? And acknowledge him in everything you do. Before you drive, pray that you make it to and from your destination safely. Before you eat. I would advise you to pray. We don't have to. I would advise you to because, you know, Esau be putting damn pork in every damn thing. You know? You know what I'm saying? Just be diligent in doing the work, man, so we can get the hell up out of here, man. And so we can get back to uh, our homeland, man, because I'm ready to go home. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go home, man. So, yeah, man, but on, on, a, on another note, like our man, man, our mighty man, man, we got we to gotta stay girded. And we just got to trust in the most high. And I know it gets crazy out here, man. It's finna be race wars popping off after this damn election, man. It's finna get to a point where everything, get, the dollar gonna crash and shit get digital and shit. Like, man, I already know niggas is finna uh, be out their damn mind, man. But we got to stay girded up in this thing. It ain't nothing the most high can't do. And, uh, and it ain't nothing he won't do 
for his children that's actually doing the commandments. So do the commandments, man. Right? Right? Let me let's go to Psalms. Yeah, let's go to Psalms 91 and 7. Speaking of. Yeah, man, and that, like I just said, it ain't nothing the most high won't do. Shalom, sister Shalom. Man, it ain't nothing that the most high won't do, man. Yeah, let's go to Psalms chapter 91, verse 7. Yeah, because y'all got to understand, like, we in the last days. Like, we right around the corner. And right after this, I'm going to go back to Matthew uh, 20, 24. I was kind of in the spirit. It's, it's a lot. But, yeah, man. Like, here we go. Here's what I want. All right, yeah. Because, like I said, it's nothing that the Most High will not do for his children that's keeping the commandments, man. We're going to go through some shit. We're going to be tried in the fire. We will be afflicted. But at the end, we got to endure, man. We we have to endure to the end, man. All right. This is the book of Pro uh, Salak, Psalms, chapter 91 and verse 7. A thousand shall fall by thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not Come nigh thee. So, man, you in these last days, you're going to see hundreds of millions of people getting damn cute, man. You're going to see a lot of shit happen, man. Let, I'm going to just say it straight up how it is, man. You're going to see a lot of stuff happen, man. It's going to be a lot of crazy shit that happened in these last days, man. But the most I said, a thousand and even ten thousand won't fall by your side, but it won't come nigh thee. It won't come near you. You won't get touched. If you, if you, as long as you keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, and doing the work, and having faith, and trusting in the Lord, man. Cause damn Christians will tell your ass that you just gotta have faith and shit. When that's not true, right? And those of you in the truth, and you know that's not true, man. We got to do the law as well, right? But let's go back to Matthew chapter twenty-four and verse three. Yeah, let's go back to Matthew chapter twenty-four and verse three, man. All right, all praises. So I'm going to read on down. I'm going to read all the way down to 14 because this is good. This is good. So I'm going to start at 3 again. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Salakia, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right? So we've been seeing little rumors of wars, right? With this whole damn election, right? We've been seeing the rumors of wars coming to pass. We've been seeing uh, the brothers from WF WFI, you know what I'm saying, showing the riots in Philly, you know what I'm saying, showing how China and uh, the U.S. Uh, having rising tensions of, you know what I'm saying, World War III finna kick off, the race war is finna kick them off. Man, everything is finna be happening, but the uh, but the Hamashiach, you know what I'm saying, uh, Yahweh, he said, but uh, the end is not yet, right? So this is verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right? And that hasn't happened yet. So that means all oh, that stuff has to come to pass as well. Because ain't, ain't no real damn famine and real damn pestilence came yet. All that shit has to come to pass, man. Like the Most High saying. Well, like Christ saying in this sense. Because this, this is the Hamashiach talking, right? Right, so this is verse 8. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up and be afflicted. Salak you. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated for all nations for my name's sake. So... In these last days, man, some of us, it, and it, it just is what it is. And the Most High in Salakia, Yahweh Shai said it himself, some of us is going to be killed in this thing, man. Some of us is going to be killed for this truth, man. 
And you got to be ready for that. And you got to have that. Lord willing, I still got this fire. Lord willing, that he never depart his Holy Spirit from my soul. And I still got this fire in me. To where it ain't going to damn matter, man. They're going to kill us. And we're going to be afflicted in these times, man. So it ain't no joke out here, man. But y'all mighty men, this is back to what I was telling y'all, these mighty men, man, we got to stay strong in these last days, man. And the only way you're going to be able to stay strong and endure in these last days is by this. It's by having these precepts, having the word in you, constantly reading the word, diligently doing the work, diligently reading. Because it, it's going to be a time where we ain't going to be able to, um, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to be able to be on the highways and byways. What, what happens when, you know what I'm saying, ain't no damn electricity? You know what I'm saying? Then you can't watch certain brothers teach no more. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to just read it for yourself. You're going to have to have the Holy Spirit in you, man. You're going to have to pray upon the Lord uh, and, and ask him that he give you that understanding that you need. You know what I'm saying? That ointment, right? So, and he, man, that's the damn devil, man. All right, I'm back. I hope the video not lagging now. Lord forbid. But yeah. Right? Right? Shalom on to all the brothers that's still in here. Right? But yeah. So, let me see. Let me see. Verse 10. I'm going I'm to read verse 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right? So, even, even, man, even in, no, it's not lagging. All praises, all praise to the Most High. See, that was the Lord right there. So, even in these days, man, the, the love of many shall wax cold, nigga. Your damn mom gonna turn on you, man. Your damn grandma, your damn daddy gonna turn on your ass, man. If they not for this truth. You know what I'm saying? They gon' they gon' they gon' straight turn on your ass, man. Good morning, Shalom, sister. Come come hear this word. Shalom, Shalom, everybody. The the love of many shall wax cold. Niggas gonna be, gonna be out here betraying each other. You know what I'm saying? Probably killing each other for dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna get to a point where um, you know what I'm saying? Niggas niggas ain't gonna have uh. Niggas gonna be uh looting harder ever, ever ever than before, man. Right? It's it's just gonna be all hell breaking loose, is what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. So let's read let's read verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right? Let me read that one more time. Cause out of all the things that the Hamashiach just said in this in this whole chapter right here, that's that's what should touch you. You know what I'm saying? That's you. That's that thing that should make you want to prosper. So this whole chapter was really for the man. If you feeling weak in this truth, man, I'm letting you know what the what the Hamashiach was saying. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna happen in these last days because it's gonna happen. The Most High said it. The Hamashiach said it. It's gonna happen. But you gotta be strong. Let me read verse 13 again. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So you endure until the end all the way through, you're going to be saved, man. The Lord going to beam you up, man. We're we going to finally be able to go home, man. And that's the ultimate goal, man. So y'all men, y'all young men in this troop, man, stay strong, man. Y'all got to understand the Lord got y'all. Trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3 and 5, right? Like we just brought out earlier, man. We got to trust in the Lord, man, no matter what. No matter what, right? The Lord is a buckler to us. He, he's a shield. You know what I'm saying? We got to stay true to him. Let me, let me go ahead and finish this uh, chapter. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Right? And that's kind of happening right now. That's kind of happening right now. Manifesting. You got uh, Israelites all across the world waking up slowly. You know what I'm saying? Slowly but surely, right? But yeah, man. Y'all young men. And, and I know it get hard. And I know for some of y'all, y'all young and it's true. 
But hey, man, I'm young in this truth as well. But hey, it, it is what it is. The Most High rising up soldiers, and he don't care how old you are, man. If he calling you, he calling you. Many are called, few are chosen, and you might be that chosen. You might be the elect. Lord willing, I'm the elect. You know, because I want to go home. That, that I ain't with that like a fire shit, man. I'm not with it, so I'm trying to do the work. And and because just because the simple uh, uh, love that I have for the the Most High, man. He made us. He created us, and He created us to serve Him. And the whole duty of man is to do the commandments, paraphrasing, right? So we got to get in this thing. We got to do what the Lord's telling us to do, man. So y'all just be strong in these last days, man. Keep the Lord first. Fast weekly. Uh, pray every day. Read diligently all the time, man. Because it's going to get bad out here, man. But you're going to be all right if you're keeping these law statutes and commandments, man. So with that, I'm going to say shalom. Kwame Yasharala. Shabbat Isaiah Israel from the Battle Axis. Y'all stay safe out here, and y'all keep the most high first. Shalom.